Hey everybody, welcome back to Westcott Plays Lego Jurassic World. Let's load our game up. Do 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 So today, I figure while we play, we can talk about E3. Considering two of the biggest hits of E3 have dropped now, Microsoft and Sony. I didn't really, I'm not, I'm more of a Sony guy. They play, they have the games that I like. I love the controllers, they're at least very comfortable in my hands. So, what you're ready to talk through this, but if you have comments, leave them on the side. If you're watching live, plays games. Or my YouTube page, Westcott. We can then go about and do it all. And breaking things. Yeah. But E3, I'm gonna have to say Sony has this in the bag unless Nintendo can pull some major, major stuff. And Nintendo always does good. There is no doubt in my mind there. But Sony just had it yesterday with The Last Guardian as its opener. How many years have we been waiting for that? It, it was stunning. It was beautiful. You just, you wanted more. And then, Horizon Zero Dawn? It's like they just wanted us to love them. And they did such an excellent job of it. I just... It was E3 is always amazing. I always enjoy it. I like seeing where we're going in the world with no games. I grew up on games. My first game with a, a freaking Nintendo Entertainment System. Still got it. Still works. I love the thing. I do not get rid of games. They're just there's no point in getting rid of them. Punch a box. And that didn't work at all. So we're just gonna follow this road here, but. But no Horizon Zero Dawn, humanity uh, looks like from looks like humanity is falling, and now our ancestors are trying to pick up the pace, the pieces of it, by hunting these super robotic dinosaur, man killer things, and it is beautiful looking. The gameplay looks smooth, and they're not even putting it out yet. Ah, uh, water. My one weakness is the Lego. But, ugh, that game is just... And then No Man's Sky again. And they say they're gonna be giving us a release date soon. I love the fact that I could be the only person... To, obviously, I'm gonna stream that if possible with them. I'm gonna check stuff like that out later on down the road. Because I would love to be able to... If they're... Only doing exclusive streaming, that'd be awesome. If not, anyone can stream, it's still awesome because you're not going to get the same experience with anybody. Each time, each video will be different, and each person's play style, and each person's universe. Is going. Take a look down there. It's going to be so much fun. I'm, I gush over No Man's Sky. I actually got four people I work with to buy PlayStation 4s just from watching No Man's Sky video play. And I have a kid who's thinking about the wow. movie. From Xbox One to PS4. That's just. Yes. Oh, good game. And then Firewatch. That game just. It looks like it's gonna have a good vibe to it. It looks like it has a Skyrim style feel without the uh, mythical creatures. It's more like a mystery if you're hunting someone, that particular person down. These are only three games really so far that we've touched on. Then 
the next the, the next full expansion of uh, Destiny Taken, the Fallen King. Crota was badass as it was. He came, he took people, he just came in and it's like, I am going to fuck your shit up. And then what does he do? He's, you kill him with his own sword, and then his father is coming after you now. Oryx. That's all sort of messed up. And then the three new classes. I want to go now. I mean, come on. The hunter with the bow? That looks so awesome with the super. The uh, titan who has a hammer. I didn't even catch what the warlock has, wrong, but it just looks so freaking awesome. You just down the road. Then there's Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which I know is for both, but they did some viewing on that. Oh, a, the, a few of the on the main oh, systems. Come back to big. I be, I'm, one, I'm an equalist. <laughs> no? I, don't, I believe everyone's got a fair shot at anything. But the, if it looks like this girl's got attitude, like, she's gonna be a straight up murder you type of woman. That looks awesome. Come then, on, there's the softer World of Final Fantasy, which seems to have some Kingdom Hearts like aspects to it in its art design and graphic design. That, that just scratched me. I remember playing the first Kingdom Hearts back on the PS2. Still, still own it somewhere around here in this big mess of my games. But that was just. John, That's gonna be another big one. Thirty feet. You come to a T junction. Just ever from the main cable. I understand how to read a schematic. Oh man. It's hard to do, tell you about these games. I'll pay attention to this. Ugh, World of Final Fantasy looks fun, and the fact that they showed a little chibi strife and chibi uh, warrior of light, that was freaking awesome. Then the big bomb, the one we have been waiting 20 years for. Not just a re-release, not an HD re-release, the full release remake of Final Fantasy VII, first on PlayStation 4. To me, that oh, Sony's already just been owning left and right on this, and then that getting that exclusively first, and it'll probably be a year or something first. A time to release like that. Okay, following the Alright, Final Fantasy 7. And I will fully admit, not my favorite. Probably my second favorite Final Fantasy. Which, second, second favorite is still awesome. I was a fan of Final Fantasy VI, to be more honest. Back, I, remember, I saw the first, back when it was called Free Cartridge. But, that's besides the point, Final Fantasy VII Remake, time to release on PlayStation 4 before anything else. That is amazing. Then we've got Batman, Arkham Knight next week. That shows some more stuff on that. Is a metal staircase. Oh, Go down. it was just beautiful. I just sat there. I was just like, I have to remember this all. It was just so freaking.
That does not help me. I'm not right there. I see the box. This high voltage. switch by hand. You've got to pump up the primer handle in order to get the charge. I can do that. Alright, here I go, okay? But E3 was just beautiful. Okay, charge. Ugh, and then Shenmue 3? Sony just kept dropping them left and right. There was not a week. <laughs> Early access to all of Call of Duty oh, stuff. Mr. Arnold. E3 was just mind blowing. We can make it if we run. I have someone watching. Tell me what you think of uh, E3. What, what highlights were really, really big for you? Or if you were watching at all? No thoughts on uh, E3 or didn't watch it. That's all right. You can catch it all online. I suggest going back and watching it too. They catch that stuff. Sony nailed it. I don't fully admit Microsoft didn't do too bad either. They were actually pretty good this year, but comparative to Sony, it was just. There wasn't something, anything there. I still can't believe they released so much. I really think Sony, considering their placement in the thing, has two plans. They have the their original schematic, and then they look at whatever Microsoft does, and it's like, alright, let's release the big guns. That was just in the bushes, It's all right. Oh god, I'm being attacked by a raptor. Slap it in the face. Oh god, I'm being attacked by a raptor. Punch it in the face. Doctor Elliot, I need you to climb in the poo. The amount of uh, independent developers that are developing strictly for Sony, too, should tell you about just how awesome Sony is to work with right now for the industry. The one thing I really think Sony could do to make their place for even better, though, is a backwards compatibility system, just like the original PS3s were uh, all the way back to one. They would own house if they had that. Thankfully, I still have a PS3, great working order that does all that, so I can still play all the way back to one games. It's going to be hard to compete with Sony without getting some really big stuff going on. It was just... It was beautiful. I'm, I'm going to unfortunately miss the uh, Nintendo conference based on my work schedule. So I'm going to have to watch that in a review later on. But I'm expecting that to be pretty awesome. And thanks to a buddy of mine over at Controller Breakers. Go check out his channel, by the way. Awesome channel. He's way better at this than I am. Um, 
I might be getting a Wii U down the road to do some work off of. There's nothing else, just so I can play Smash Bros. I had fun playing that game. And two luck. Rocks or Raptors apparently is the way to beat them. Rocks apparently are their only weakness. And block the face. Ah. Yeah, I'm not gonna hesitate to leave you on your own when facing a boss or Raptor. Peace. It's the Muldoon. Yeah, I love that little reference. Uh, One to upgrade. <laughs> we are through that level. This time, previous broadcast, I'm not going to go for the completionist on this file where I'm showing you guys. I would like you to guys to get the game. I'm not getting paid by LEGO to say this. I'm not getting paid by Universal or anyone else to say this. It's a fun game. I would like you guys. This is a. Fun game. Let's keep all that little unlock stuff. And we'll continue with the story. We follow the ghost things yet. Where is the crank? Oh, I actually didn't need her. And whack. Up, put the crank in the hole. Night vision. Pick up the key. Put the key in the hole. Turn the key. Unlock the door. And next level. Here's another fascinating fact for you. Dilophosaurus gets its name from the two thin crests of bone on top of its head. Hello? It's going so much faster when I'm not in my completionist mode. You have to find the others. The I promise. Ugh. Yet again, E3, if you get a chance to watch it, guys, or go back and watch some of the videos for it, the full video is released. It is awesome. Watch it. That's a game that wasn't showing on it called Ark Survival Evolved. Look it up. That game is beautiful looking. It looks to be... Phenomenal. I will probably be pre-ordering a lot of the games I saw today, just so I can get some of the exclusive stuff. And then there was Bethesda's. Bethesda. There we go. Bethesda's. Ugh, cannot speak. Bethesda was beautiful as well. They were for their first E3. They knew exactly how to hit it. Focus on what you want. Make small highlights to your new stuff. Wow. They just, they knew how to do an amazing job. And Fallout 4.
Come here, come here. Get in the oven. Oh no, the raptor wants to eat you, Timmy. You should feed him. He's hungry. Ugh. I want to I want to be able to watch E3 all over again, and I probably will when I get out of work today. Because it was just... It was phenomenal. Oh, stop being such a guy, baby Jimmy. It's not like you're going to be eaten by a dinosaur if you screw up. Turns out your sister would want to eat. More food. <laughs> that raptor's a pothead. I know, I make terrible jokes. I'm gonna do that. Because apparently he becomes exceptionally fast on his hands and knees. way you're going to get through this alive. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. You can do it, Timmy. Build it up. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Somebody's upset that he didn't get any. That's not good. It's <laughs> crawling, 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 crawling. <laughs> God, that's gotta be annoying to listen to as I walk. Or talk. Or walk and talk. Build it.
I don't know how. There we go. Gotta save him. Or we can't have sequels. Same one last time too. Damn. You would think it's easy to navigate, but just it doesn't want to move. It wants to do an up, down, left, right motion. Second viewer, welcome to the viewing. <laughs> oh, he looks cold. has done a lot of the legwork. Time for you to finish up. So, our new guest on uh, my Twitch feed, do you have anything to say about the E3 conference? Still no response. So guys, you enjoying this walkthrough? You hate it? What do you like about it? What do you hate about it? I can only improve if I know have some feedback here. maintains the same uh, connection as it does in the previous playthrough, so this is a preset combination. What works? Phone um, security systems? Who name it? We got it. Okay, there's a lot up here. I'm just gonna walk right away with my coffee and go back to somewhere else. No, I got it. There was no problem here. I'm 
gonna come through the glass! Your turn to save the day, Dr. Grant. Throw those Legos. Climb! Climb! <laughs> oh, I love raptors. They're fucking awesome. <laughs> they wouldn't really have been that big, though. Lots of raptors were not the, the largest of the breeds. They just had the coolest name. Oh, God. We're all gonna die. I didn't do it. Alright, Dr. Ellie. Make this plant grow. Slice and slice and slice and slice Thank you. 
After careful consideration, I decided not to endorse your Ghost Trail Park. So have I. Why not? Everybody wants to meet my dinosaur. Look, he got away. Brush the This is just really a thing where you can use to gain some extra points. You can be the T Rex and the L. Or you can be the uh, Raptor. And he makes those goofy sounds. But that's really all it is. And that's just 5.3% of the game I've completed in this little movie walkthrough. Pterodon had a light coming of fuzz on the eyes. The wings are made of s skin stretched on extra long forefingers. They're not actually dinosaurs. They're li giant li flying lizards that just happen to live in that time frame. I learned that from listening to Mr. DNA. Alright, but we're going to call it quits for today's episode. If you liked, comment, subscribe, anything like that. Check out, like I said, go to waste, the Facebook page, Westcott Plays Games, like there, comment there on anything. Go to the YouTube page, subscribe, Westcott. Alright, you guys have a good one. Take it easy.